The interrogation video of confessed school shooter Nicholas Cruz lasts hours. On it, Cruz appears well aware of being on camera. He mimes shooting himself, he punches himself, and he talks to himself. He also tells BSO detective John Curcio about hearing a persistent voice or demon in his head. And what's the voice telling you? But for Ryan Petty, the video is more than just another piece in the investigation of Cruz. Petty's daughter, Elena, died in the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Petty says the video and what Cruz reveals is also a teaching moment for the community. Petty says despite talk of voices and demons, he feels the video shows Cruz was well aware of his actions. What, what I saw was the shooter trying to come to grips, I think, with what he had just, what he had just done. Fred Guttenberg, whose daughter Jamie died in the shooting, said he has no interest in watching the video. I don't need to see him pour out his thought process. He did it. He planned it. My name is Nick, and I'm going to be the next school shooter of 2018. Guttenberg pointed to the cell phone videos Cruz filmed prior to the shooting as proof of premeditation. For Guttenberg, the critical issue is bigger than Nicholas Cruz speaking to law enforcement after 17 people were murdered, 17 others wounded. Law enforcement, the school district, the FBI, the mental health community, people around him socially, everybody knew he was a threat to those around him and there was no law in place to keep him from buying the weapon. And Fred Guttenberg said he is working hard to try and change that system to prevent this from happening again. In Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 2 News. Cruz was a former student at the school. He had been expelled in 2017 for disciplinary reasons.